um, if you are about the excitement about the weekend that we are used to in terms of football, the usual league football is taking a back bench. I'm sure you know that for for fact. Uh, but um, fortunately, there is also something you know that would substitute. It's called the international break, and that's what the old players in the world today are enjoying. Some of them are savouring, donning the shirts of the uh, national teams, and that doesn't leave us our own Super Eagles of Nigeria as they will be taking on um, Egypt, you know, soon to come. And of course, they took on uh, Seychelles in a very, very good game of football. Welcome. This is Old Sports. My name is Baba Chide Guerrero. Happy to be here as usual. And I'm sure my guys in the studios are very happy as well, you know, to be part of the show. I start with Israel Bankoli. Easy. How are you doing, man? Yeah, Baba Chide Guerrero. Good morning and good morning to our wonderful viewers. Absolutely. Uh, it's good to be back on the show. It is. It is indeed. It's been a long, long week. We have missed our viewers. I've missed you guys and it's good to be back here. Well, a man is making his debut on today's show. Temidayo Ayegusi. How are you doing, man? Good morning. Uh, good morning, Baba Chide. Yeah. I'm very happy to see you. Absolutely. Good morning to our viewers as well. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to be fun. Of course, uh, Timmy sure. intends to, you know, score a lot of goals, being his debut, you know, um, show. But we will be back right after this break. So we'll take you through everything making rounds at this time in the world of sports. Deontay Wilder insists he loves being a free agent. Hence, he's reportedly set to reject a hundred million plus US dollar deal from US broadcaster DAZN, putting his proposed fight with Anthony Joshua on hold. The news comes as a blow to fans hoping for a guaranteed undisputed title bout involving Anthony Joshua in 2019. It is claimed that an agreement had been drawn up, which would have ensured that the fight would have taken place in 2019. Last week, fans were given what turned out to be false hope when it emerged that Wilder would be meeting with the streaming service, who also broadcast AJ in America. Meanwhile, national boxing coach and ex-Olympian Jeremiah Okorodudu, who represented Nigeria at the Los Angeles Olympics in 1984, has advised Joshua to avoid top opponents for the time being, in order to extend his run as the world heavyweight champion, holding four separate titles including the WBA, IBF, WBO and WBC Super Heavyweight Championships. If I am Anthony Joshua's manager, there are some fights we cannot take for now. Because if it's fighting, you have to pick your boxers from 1 to 10. Pick the one you think will not give your boxer any problem. But if you keep taking tough opponents, I don't think you will go far. It might say another two years. That be maybe two more years. Joshua is scheduled to meet Jarrell Miller at Madison Square Garden in New York on June 1st. With games against Seychelles and Egypt lined up for the Super Eagles in the only available FIFA window before the kickoff of the 2019 AFCON in June, the team's current skipper, Ahmed Musa, says the team has improved on its confidence level and the players are fully determined to face the task ahead. We, we have been together for quite some, uh, some times now. Uh, the World Cup coming back with all the Afghan games and we have not lost any game. So for me, I have that confidence that we have a good, very good team because we know each other for so long. So we are just waiting for the tournament to start. Ahmed Musa also speaks on the impact of the Russia 2018 World Cup experience on the team. Yeah, for me, you, uh, you say that uh, we qualify without with one more game, but it's not that easy going to the World Cup with young players that have never been to any tournament. For me, just few players in the team that went to World Cup last, last four years, so it's not that easy. But right now we have that experience that we have been to the World Cup, we have that experience with all some of the new players. So going to the Nation Cup with these new players that they have seen the experience of the World Cup, I know that we can do better. On the invitation of new players, especially home-based players, the former Leicester City forward threw his weight behind coach Geno Turo's decision. Calling up new players like one or two is not anything bad. As you can see, it's not anything new. It's just the home base, like two players or three. 
coming up to the Super Ego. So I think for me, that is a very big opportunity for them to show themselves. So for the coach giving some of the players opportunity to show themselves, for me, I feel very happy about that. Musa also says the team is determined to go all out against Seychelles and Egypt. For me, I don't think uh, it's a game that will say there is nothing. We don't have, a, after these two games, we don't have any FIFA window before the Nation Cup. So we are going all out to play these two games like we are preparing for the Afghan. And finally, the Super Eagles stand-in captain speaks on the poor condition of some of the playing pitches anytime they return home to play in Africa. Uh, uh, the really thing is, if you see at the World Cup, we have a very fantastic pitch, we play very good, but anytime we play in Africa, the pitch is the one of the difficult moments that we see. So we can't play the football that we know how to play, we just go there for the three points. But inshallah, I think the tournament in Egypt, the pitch will be one of the best, so you can see the very good of our players. All right, just yesterday, Super Eagles of Nigeria played more or less a dead rubber game against Seychelles. We saw how that one panned out, but looking forward to the game against um, Egypt, and it's going to be an interesting, friendly, um, easy. But were you impressed, generally, uh, by yesterday's um, results and performance by the Super Eagles? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we did well. Uh, knowing fully why it's a dead rubber game, uh, we, 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 we trust uh, such as uh, at, at, their, at their home. Mm. And coming on to, uh, to Asaba, uh, we played very well. Young players, saw some players into the team and they did very, very well. And hopefully these players can cement their place in the national team because we need to start building for the future, mm. which Genetro is trying to do. They're trying to infuse new players into the team, which, which the players, that, they, those players that came in did fantastically well. I think it's a nice one going forward for the Super Eagles. And going forward, um, Timmy, they're coming to you now. Um, Nigeria will be playing Egypt in the next couple of days for uh, the friendly. Of course, by the time we come back to the show, we'll be um, reviewing that particular one. But how do you think that won't go? Yes, I believe in the Super Eagles mm. of Nigeria to do wonders against the Pharaohs of Egypt. Mm. Not for the first time. Absolutely. We've always been doing this and we can as well do it again. Mm. Well, going towards the match against Egypt, we saw how they played against Sechus. Even mm. if it was a dead rubber game, mm. you saw the new players mm. that they just placed in there. Mm -hmm. You saw the way they displayed and showed confidence. Absolutely. So I think that should give us confidence going, going forward. forward Absolutely. against the Pharaohs of Egypt. Okay. Um, speaking of confidence, um, I, I still want to stay sick with you, but I'll be taking Izzy's uh, point as well. The Super Eagles of Nigeria, the under-23 team now, the dream team like they call them, um, had a particular fixture against Libya. They lost two goals to Neo uh, away at Libya. Now they're coming to Asaba. And if I thought we, there's something we know about this under-23 faction of the Super Eagles, they know they are known for their comebacks. Do you think these guys can turn yes, the deficit? Yes, they are not just called dream team for nothing without, <laughs> without any reason, without dreaming. Yeah, we've always been doing it. Mm. I could still remember year 2000 going towards the tournament in Sydney mm. when we even had to beat Zimbabwe by four goals to new to stand the chance. Mm. And uh, very fortunately for us, the boys rose to the occasion mm. and we trust their four goals to nothing, even when nobody gave us a chance because of their tactician Clemens Westerhoff. Mm. We did very well and that's enough confidence boosting mm. towards this game. And don't forget the fact that we are the, we are the very first team to bring the gold medal to oh, the continent of yeah, Africa. To the continent of Africa, so okay. we can as well do it again. All right, so uh, anybody that listens to Timidai right now would think Timidai is, the, is like the head technician and the te oh, head, <laughs> head magician of the Dream Team. Oh, but the dream hey, team. that's right there is confidence. But let's talk some athletics now, shall we? Um, good news for some Nigerian athletes as um, heading to the uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Well, it's been confirmed that the IOC has, you know, um, allocated for uh, 12, 11, I beg your pardon, Nigerian athletes heading to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics scholarships. And these scholarships, the idea is to expose them to better opportunities, um, give them that um, level playing ground with other participants. And we also recall that heading to the Rio um, Olympics in 2016, we also saw um, the likes of um, Divine Oduduru and um, S.A. Brume winning this same gesture. Gentlemen, this is a step in the right direction, especially for NOC. Uh, we, we like to see things like this uh, being done even on a regular and locally as well. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a fantastic one. Uh, exposing the athletes to uh, another side, exposing them to the world 
world. I think with this, these athletes can can compete with their counterparts around the world, and this can expose them and and push them forward to mm. do better uh, in the in the first coming Olympics. I think it's a very nice one for. Uh, for for the athletes and very nice one for IOC bringing this thing to this for the athletes. Let's talk some basketball now, shall we? Uh, the coach of D Tigers, Alex Nwora, has made it clear that regardless of whatever circumstances, is picking the best players to represent Nigeria at the World Cup in China. Is your this if you're a good player or if you're a better player? you should be in the frames of the coach's mind at this point, Israel. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Alex, what I said, you will we'll get the best players to, to represent Nigeria in the World Cup. And it's not looking at the home base players because, mm. one, the league is not on. There's no league for basketball. There's no basketball league going on in Nigeria, definitely. This guy is looking at players uh, from abroad, players that will come from abroad and, sh and showcase themselves. A lot of Nigerian players play in the NBA. Yeah. And it's going to be a good time for them to just come through and don the jerseys and see just how far you know they can actually do well for a nation. Because a lot of them also want to play for the United States, but the truth is, it's an it's only um, it's limited space available. So uh, I don't think there will be a problem for Alex Nwora yeah. uh, picking from a pool. In fact, I think it's going to be a good problem. It's a good headache, yes, yes. selection headache for Alex Nwora. Well, for the uh, Formula One, for the lovers of Formula One, um, it's good news for um, Mr. Say this as uh, Valerie Bottas won the very first Grand Prix of the year. He won this Grand Prix in Australia, uh, and of course, he, he writes for Mercedes Benz. And so, also, uh, does the one of the greatest, if not the greatest, um, Formula One racers, Lewis Hamilton, does for uh, Mercedes Benz. But Lewis didn't come first, even though he started in pole position. Unfortunately, he had issues with uh, the rear of his vehicle that allowed him to slow down at some point in the race. All right, we'll go for a quick break, and when we return, it is time to have the hot topic on Old Sports this Saturday morning. As world soccer legends, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi call off their nine months absence from international football after last year's World Cup in Russia. Should Super Eagles manager Geno Troll welcome back captain Mikel Obi if he decides to return to the team after missing out in all the Afghan qualifying games? Obi Mikel is playing again in Middlesbrough since a few weeks and he's doing well now but he has still a little uh, problem with his knee and it was not the moment now to come back for him in these conditions. They have so many games in Middlesbrough to do. They, they are fighting for the playoff also and uh, he told me that it's not the moment to come back, so the question was not there already, to come now already. But if Obi Mikkel is very fit again, if he has the motivation, if he shows that he's better than the other people we have, the door is open for everybody. We will see if he can come back one day. We need also experience in our team. We have so young players. Again, I think we are even younger than the last in the last list, so the experience of such a player could be interesting. Thank you for still joining us. Uh, this is Steel Old Sports, and it's time for us to do some debates now. Uh, during the course of the week, uh, Lionel Messi and um, Cristiano Ronaldo declared that, hey, we are ready uh, to come back to national um, football action. And so we're asking this morning, should Gennett Raw invite skipper Mikel Obi to lead the team to um, Egypt 2019? Remember that Mikel Obi has not kicked a ball for the Super Eagles of Nigeria uh, since the World Cup in Russia 2018. The gentlemen are in the studio still and it's time to take the thesis statement starting with um, Israel Bankoli. Uh, Mikel Obi is an integral part of that team. Uh, I think you should return back to that team because uh, the likes of uh, Messi and Ronaldo are back to their various national teams. So Mikel Obi should come back to that team. Mm. Timida, what do you think? I think Mikel Obi and Victor Moses time they are done with the Super Eagles for now. At least you can't just they can't just decide to stay away from the team when the team needs you mm. most. You should be playing with, for the national team with pride. Like you should enjoy playing for the team. So if you decide to call it off willingly, then so be it. All right. Very well said um, by uh, Timidayo Ayegusi. And now we go for a quick break and when we return, I would like to see how this particular one pans out. I'm sure you want to.
The thesis is done, and we are now ready to debate. And gentlemen, over to you. Israel, I'll start with you. Yes, uh, Miguel Obi, as I said before, is an integral part of that team. Um, remember, the last time he played for the Super Eagles was in the World Cup. And throughout the, these games, the Super Eagles have struggled in the qualifiers. Mm. And Mikel Obi, we will not find somebody to fill that void for Mikel Obi, of Mikel Obi. Now, if they're playing a will be, sometimes you see the likes of uh, Etebo in DD. Now, we, we need somebody that will, that will hold that midfield permanently. Going to the Nation Cup, Nation Cup is not, is, is not, is not, is not where we go to experiment. Mm. So we need our best legs. And Mikel Obi now has moved mm. from China to England. So definitely he's playing competitive, he's, he's, he's playing week in, week out. So, and with, with the form, with, with how he's playing in, uh, in, 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 with with Middlesbrough now, you know, Mikel Obi is the right. Mikel Obi is still valuable to that team. If Messi can be playing at age 32 and Ronaldo at age 34, I see why. I see no reason why Mikel Obi is not can, cannot make come back to that team. So, so if you are telling us this morning that Mikel Obi is not, is, Mikel Obi cannot make that team. Definitely, you must, you must, you must, you must be looking for another player. Which and which like which, which player, which player in Nigeria that can be that void for Mikel Obi and nobody. With all due respect to Mikel Obi, Mikel is not Messi and he's not Ronaldo. Yes, I know. <laughs> and let me correct an impression. Messi is not 33. Yes, Messi is 31. Yes, 31. 20, yes, 32. Yes. But all the same, Mikel has not done that too well for the Super Eagles that we won't be able so to do So you're saying he's a spectacular oh, player oh. in the first place? Hmm? You're saying he's a spectacular player in the first place. Why Mikel disturbing? has passed it as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I could not even cope in China. Someone that no, could not play. No, no, no. He was, he was playing in China, but he was, he was looking for an active league. That's why he moved to Middlesbrough. No. And he's playing Middlesbrough. When he first got to China, yes. Mikel was even being deployed as a It was the captain. It was the captain. He was the captain. He the was the captain of the Tajikistan. So, with all due respect, I don't see. Before, before you broke. Um, you saying that we don't have, we have so many capable players. Okay, okay, with, okay with, mention. With, with Simon doing so well, never. But, but, but the Simon cannot play as a number ten. Now we're looking for someone to fill that void. Number ten. Mikel, that's I'm concerned. Okay, okay, okay. With how many so, assists and how many goals for this? No, it doesn't mean now. Mikel, there's, there's something. How, how, how do you define the, the number ten? Okay, there's something making me the number ten. They would have been playing it. Mikel, you bring stability to that team now. If 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 you have a player like uh in DD Etebo, you need Mikel Lo Mikel Lobi, Mikel Lobi the best of that team, and which the Super Eagles team lack now because we, we, we are we are we are we are we, are, we, we qualified to the National Cup with the game to spare. That doesn't mean we can we can, we can take this team to the National Cup. So we with must get everything right. If we can make them play Middlesbrough and Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough fans, that Mikel as African Zidane at left now it was tagged as African Zidane in Middlesbrough. Definitely there will be something this man. This is there's something he has, there's something he has, there's something in his back. So, Mikel, we know, in the championship. In the championship, yes, in the championship, yes. In the championship. yes so, in the championship. So, 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 gentlemen, please hold on. Um, Timmy, are you trying to express the fact that you don't think Miguel has still got that competitive Mikel edge in him? Miguel has passed it, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. For you not to even play in a lower league like China, mm. then you've already passed it. And when we have competitive players like we friend in Didi, mm. Doing well, we can wake out. In fact, one of the best defensive midfielders yes. we have in Europe in, at in the, the world, moment. actually. Yes. So why why do you need Mikel Obi? You have someone like uh, but he's e saying e but that is still very energetic, mm. very still PC, still has the strength. There's there's, there's something Mikel Obi like which, 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 which So what do, do you need? What do you need? He brings Mikel stability to that team now. And besides, don't forget, Mikel, 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 Mikel is ready for this But they can't bring up those things that Mikel Obi. That's something to do. We need we need to build for the future. You can't go to a nation cup without 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 Mikel Obi experience because now you are playing that same that's that's that same that same tournament. You have likes of uh, 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 Egypt, you, like, you have Cameroon, you have Senegal. So we need Mikel Obi experience in that team. Which it doesn't matter. That team, which it doesn't matter. Our, our, be, our best performance all... ever yes. in the World Cup, as far as I'm concerned, was in USC 94. Okay, no problem. We are yes. going to the tournament for the very first time. Mm. What did we do? The very first team we meet, we dismantled Bulgaria. Yeah, no problem. Which I is one that. of the tournament's favorite. Yes. Three goes to new. Yeah. We still defeated Greece. Yeah. Only to lose to Argentina. Yes. Play for the first time. Yeah. Senegalese team. In 2002, they were going there for the first time as first well. Time, no they, they so you're saying the experience really doesn't really matter. It doesn't at the really. End of the day. It's not every time. Mm. It's not it's every not, time. It's not, not every time when you have a better mm. replacement. Now, if you and take a those players are not better. Team, what, what, if you take a better, if you, what if, has he been able to offer in the last few years? If you take a Miguel out of that team, country, which player will you put in that position to play? That's the problem. Now, we know 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 we
you, you can play Michael Lobi. When you play Michael Lobi as 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 a number ten, you need to you need to give him. I don't see him as a number ten for him, which is doing very very well. I don't see him as a number ten. He played well in the World Cup. We saw what he did in the World Cup. We saw we we saw we saw what 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 is doing right now with with Middlesbrough. So Michael Lobi, I think Michael Lobi is not a player that you can just take off the team like that. You need players. You need some players to understudy him before you take him out of the team. So if you take Michael Lobi out of this out of the Super Eagles now, and we're going to the National Cup, I think I I, I think we will not. We will, I, I I don't I don't see Michael Lobi from that group. If, well, that, well, if you thing. leave a player like Mikel Obi <laughs> out of that, which is a Mikel Obi if, playing if for Middles 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 the Super Eagles, if he, if he wants to, if he believes that we can win the World Cup, the Nation Cup, I beg your pardon, I think Mikel Lubi should be invited into that team. Timmy Dyer? Well, I don't think there is the need for Mikel Lubi coming back into the team. Uh, with due respect to Mikel Lubi, the national team is not like, a, it's not like a, a, an ATM machine where you can easily slot in your debit card mm. as your own pleasure mm. and remove it at any time you feel like. Mm. So I think... Uh, this is not the very first time. If you could remember the and four Nations Cup as well, three of our players were sent home for indiscipline. Yakubu Aegbeni, um, Celestine Babayaro, and Vito Agali. We, the other players rose to the challenge. We got to the semi-final only to lose to the eventual winner on penalties, which is the host nation in Tunisia. So we need to be, this is the time to build for the future. Okay. These are the time to give our players confidence and let's see what they can do. Mikel Rubias. Passes as far as I'm concerned, should go and rest. All right, okay, we we'll go for a quick break, and when we return, it's time for my final whistle. We welcome back to the final uh, part of the show, the final whistle. So the gentlemen have spoken quite wisely about um, whether or not should um, Genet Roy um, invite the skipper of the national team, Mikel Obi, back to the forward as the team prepares for the Nations Cup. Well, having heard what these gentlemen have said, well, I think strongly uh, that um, if we are serious about building for the future, um, it's absolutely important that I lean towards Demidayo right now, who feels that Mikel Obi is done and dusted. He has served well. He has done the quality job um, that needs to be done at that time. Uh, meanwhile, I would also take a little bit of side with Ijo Bankole, who feels you cannot build for the future without having um, esteem and a great level of experience from the past. And there is no better experienced player um, in the Super Eagles fold than Mikel Obi. So I think that Mikel Obi eventually is a decision of the coach but i still think he has one or two good things to pass on into you know the future generation but what do you think how about you tell us your thoughts via text message please do not call us please send us you know a text message as well as go to our social media platforms on your screen at hotspot ng across board and do well to follow like and comment oh well being the official media partners of the super Eagles of nigeria our own um Ufoma Ususu uh, will be re reporting live to us, you know, from Delta, the base of the Tobago of Nigeria, giving it to us as the hot, you know, from that corner. Uh, of course, you remember you can join these conversations on www.hotspottv.com. Gentlemen, as we leave the studio, I have to say a very big thank you to you, um, Israel Bankoli, for making it this morning. Yeah, thank you very much, Roger. And we will get to see you again next week, uh, uh, Saturday, yes, definitely. Yes, by the grace of God. All right, so, uh, Timita Ayibusi, um, great, great debut. Well oh, done. Yeah. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Definitely, we'll get to see more of Timita you know, as usual. We will get to see more of you as well going forward into um, the uh, week. Please remember, take care of yourselves and each other. We will see you again next week, Saturday. For me, bye-bye. Guerrero. Bye for now.